Today I'm thrilled to share how we've taken our CMAPS Analytics integration with Web Intelligence one step further, now allowing us to transform Web Intelligence report parts directly inside of the canvas into custom CMAPS Analytics visualizations. So by simply clicking on the new CMAPS Analytics custom element, I can give the map a location which, like any other CMAPS Analytics integration, can be anything from city to state to latitude, longitude, zip code, really anything that you want. I can select a label which will appear when I select the location. And then I can choose a measure which in this case I'm going to choose as growth. Web Intelligence is going to render our CMAPS Analytics extension right on side of the canvas. I'm going to blow it up a little bit so we have a little bit more space to work with. And within this view, I get to take full advantage of CMAPS Analytics capabilities, including some of the advanced features where it will dynamically sum and aggregate my data using geography as I pan and zoom around the map. We also get to take advantage of things like Street View because we are, in fact, using Google Maps, which is a nice feature. And the best part about CMAPS Analytics living on the canvas is now we get to take advantage of Web Intelligence interactive capabilities or brand new dashboarding capabilities. So for example, if I click on California, CMAPS Analytics is going to re-render using Web Intelligence and automatically pan and zoom only to those locations. And then if we say, okay, I only want to look at cities with over uh, 580,000 or so folks, once again, Web Intelligence is doing all the heavy lifting, and we're doing just the mapping and interactive analysis. Certainly, we're barely scratching the surface of what we can do with our CMAPS Analytics API. And in the next video, we're going to show you how we could take advantage of, of formatting a custom element so that you can define and fine-tune the end-user experience without leaving Web Intelligence.